Yeah, so I'm just gonna let this set up a little bit too. I find that when you gather over the color, it can get heated up really quick for some reason. So I wanna make sure I'm set up enough to accommodate getting my glass, cooling it, and sitting down with it. So not rushing, you know, sometimes you'll see people standing, like even at the marver to get, just take a load off, relax it down, let it cool, and then go from there. That way you don't do anything too soon. That feels pretty good. Please hold. I barely, but yeah. Nope. All right, I'm good. I got my holster on and I'm ready. Say it again. So turning as slow as I can get away with, because I don't want that fresh glass to start to bat wing or dog ear. I love the pipe cooler. A lot of you guys don't use it. It's a great tool just to allow your body to get right in the dead center of the pipe. Thank you. I'm happy to use this. This is great. Thank you. And if you're just turning slow, look how close my hand can be. Everything's really in control because I'm like close and tight up to it. So I can see what's going on and kind of muscle it where I need to. And then one touch with the paper just for good measure to make sure everything's sort of where it should be. And then I can get this whole affair nice and hot and start marvering the very tip so that we can blow it out and keep thickness at the bottom. Will you hold that for a sec? Ooh. Thank you. All right, where's this thing? Here we go. So I want everything nice and warm so I can stretch this and make uh, the side walls thinner but maintain a lot of thickness at the base. And I try to turn a little faster than the rate in which I blow, just to keep things on center. If you blow really fast and turn really slow, it'll probably blow out unevenly. And that looks like a fine, how do you do? You can see it's thinner here and nice and thick at the base. Shuhei, I might have you grab this so I can cut the neck, holding it slightly downward. I will. I gotta get in the bench, I think. You wanna grab that? Got it. And just stay on that angle right there. Thank you. So Shuhei's turning the pipe for me. So I can really just yeah. worry about this. Hold it down further towards the floor. There you go. Oh my God. I know, I'm all caught in my hose. <laughs> That's perfect. And back one more pass. And that looks great. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. And then my arm didn't have to do any of that work, which was really nice. Thank you, Shuhei, for taking one for the team. I'm going to go just a little longer and start to blow this out before we paddle the bottom. Get that length. I gotta get to the other side of the pipe. There we go. I want the bottom wider than the top. So I'm holding my blades up as I blow. I'd love a paddle next time. Yeah. 
I definitely ask for what I need before I need it so that it's not like a freak out scene. Because that seldom works out. And I'm just trying to get the bottom section nice and warm so we can flatten her up and uh, slightly taper it from the top to the bottom. So it's like a cone shape. And paddle super light at first. A little bit harder now. Stop for a sec, I can't see a thing. And push a little. A little bit louder now. Yeah, let's do it one more time just to clean it up. Thank you. So I'm just heating that very edge to crisp it up a little. It's pretty darn close, but we can get a little tight, crispy cream here otherwise and push. So we're both pushing pretty firmly. Yes. And I'd love a stick, please. That looks great. So cone so far, and then the top will get the ring and then kind of mirror that shape. A little bit louder now. It won't have a handle. It'll, I'm hoping it'll be a little bit narrow here so you can just hold it. When I go to trim it, that will narrow in. And look how nice this punny is that he's bringing. It's got a good dome at the top, nice beveled back end. And Shuhei is turning really slowly. Slow is uh, the new fast, I think they say. Hot is the new cold. A little bit louder now. Thank you. I'm good. What are you doing? I'm ready whenever you are. Hot and, Hot and bothered. Right on. My kind of guy. So when you have a big wide bottom, really seeing where you're going is helpful. So I kind of marked it a little bit with the uh, schmutz of the paddle, technical term. What's that? It feels pretty awesome. That looks good. Ready, Freddy? Hey. Is it tight quarters? And if you back out, I can take it from here. Thank you. Gracias. So if you're gonna put a ring in something, I recommend trimming the lip first because starting to do all that manipulation after, you're gonna throw the whole thing off center. So it's best to just do it, get it clean, get it straight and thin, if that's something you need, and then start to heat to put the ring. And I'm really trying to focus the heat towards the top half of the piece. And 
So I get a little length and a little thinness. I gotta take a heat or two just to straighten it up, or it's probably just a heat. I'll take that, thank you. Paddle. So things are just a little kicked in and squirrely. So once it's unsquirreled, we'll spot heat where the ring will go. And paddle, please. Thank you. I'll flash and will you torch for me? This technique doesn't need the torch, but the torch is actually really nice because it specifically heats where uh, you're gonna push the ring. It gives you a little leg up. And a leg up is better than not. So we're gonna go a little lower. Right about there, we hit it where I'm pointing. Stop our heat and we'll do that again. So I really want to get a flash, maybe just a little heat, but mostly I'm heating with that torch right now, the map gas. And it should hold a little heat too when I take my flashes. I'll take one more heat. I'm just trying my best to keep that back end warm. And thank you. Stay on it. Stop. Thank you. Righto. I'll make sure the deal is sealed and then open that lip up so that it's got a little flare to mimic the shape at the bottom. But nothing crazy. Make sure the deal is sealed first. And paddle, please. Stop for a sec. So Shuhei, what I think I'm gonna do is open this a touch more. I'd like to torch the lip. We'll put a spout on this, a little spout spot and I'll, we can use the uh, either the hot torch or the map gas so I just want to make sure it's one straight line before we do that and that looks pretty great can you flash that real quick This thing. And stop for a sec. Flip. 
and flip. Flip again, please. Will you take one flash, por favor? So just preheating the area and then I'll give it the hua. The old. Flip. And flip. And that's awesome. Hold still. And flash, please. What do you guys think, handle or no handle? handle. Probably needs a handle. Let's see if I can't handle that. Sherry, I'll take that over here. May I have a handle of, of the thumb size variety? Yeah. Like your thumb, not your... Yeah. Why not? So Shirei's going to do a core of the clear again to give some stability. For the inside of the handle. of chalk around guys can I trouble someone for a piece of chalk please awesome sauce thank you So you guys, watch how Shuhei shapes this handle. You guys have been practicing handles. Yeah. I'm gonna flash Shuhei. Thank you. And this will be the bottom to the top because I feel like it makes a stronger cure connection. The old squish, snip, and flip. And then I'm gonna just smear that up, let it fill. I think I'm okay. Thank you. But where I smeared it up, it's got a great attachment. It's a nice, strong connection. Because this has some weight to it, so you want to be able to accommodate the weight of the piece. One more check, just for good measure. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go sideways just so I don't have to lift it. Thank you, Shuha. I like it with the handle. Yeah. And it's good, anytime you have a chance to put a handle on something, put at least one. Maybe two or three. Thanks, Alan. Awesome sauce, thank you. Boom. You got it? Thank you. Alan, can I trouble you just to close that, please? So we'll do the next piece will be that goblet with the uh, ring bowl. And the difference will be instead of using the jacks to coerce, we'll use the newspaper.
which will be good. bubbles from what's that where's Ross hi Ross how are you yeah it's crazy right <laughs> you can say whatever you want uh, that's funny you can say whatever you like shoe hey can I give this you to blow out I'm gonna start over thank you piece and you see something you don't like just start again I had a ton of bubbles in there I just didn't want to go through all that work knowing that those were lurking and upon uh, examination I've decided to start again and put the color on the inside rather than the out so I have less of it once you get the glass it doesn't really matter if it's on the inside or the out the color that is. And there's plenty of heat. So taking a pit stop at the cooler is always a nice affair. Just getting that set up. pull all the glass that I can off the rod, making it an even shape. Just by changing the angle that I'm marvering on just slightly, I can pretty up the tip of the gather. I know I have a hose here somewhere. Is there a hose somewhere? Here it is. Please hold. Thanks. she blows I'm very uh, challenged I'm a hose challenged yeah. yes <laughs> I love, I love the thing. I'm not going yeah see I, I I really had a heck of a time with that that's like the perfect age though yeah. I've been 22 for years Oh, thank you. Thanks, Shuhei. So this is a nice thing to do for someone. Cheers, guys. Shuhei's all right. It's all right. Yeah, you're all right. <laughs> yeah, he's not fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine. Yeah, language is a powerful thing. What do they say that commas save lives? You ever see that? Commas, they're like, let's eat, grandma. Let's eat grandma. <laughs> Thomas save lives. Stupid Ross. Snack stealer. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> That's funny. Turn nice and slow when you get your glass and it'll be happy to stay put for you. Rather than winging out. Especially when you try to scoop up a lot, that glass could be a little wild. So the slow turning does help. Definitely dipping your block before it's like a smoke session is also a nice detail. And then once I get this all equalized up, we'll make that loose diamond shape we talked about to sort of dictate where the ring will go. Wait, will you hold this for a sec while I unfurl my business, yeah. so to speak? Let's see where this other thing is. I got it. 
Thank you. Too many crickets. While you're taking that initial heat and the glass isn't that hot, it's nice to get your self together, whether it be with the hose or the blowing system over there, just because it's not moving around too crazy. I want to thin my wall, keep some material at the base for later. And the marver is really the best tool in the house for drawing heat out of your bubble in a specific place. The paper works nicely, but the marver is really specific. I am gonna take one touch with the paper to dictate that high and low line. And then we'll be ready to party. Yeah, one more setup here. Cooling there. I want to move it down a little bit. So it's lower. I think I'll have to do that one more time to set it up. That last one that we did earlier this morning, I felt like the ring was high. So I'm just trying to ease it down so that it doesn't come so close to the lip and stays more in the center of the piece. And I can do that right here at the bench. Hitting that backside. And dictating that front curve. And now I'll just heat up to this edge, that high side. And I'm going to turn pretty slow so I can see if it's moving or not. The faster you're turning in here too, it's hard to dictate like, hey, what's happening? But if you slow it down and it starts to wiggle, you can see it really easily. And I want to wiggle plus some. This color sure is soft. I'm just going to push back with my thumb. And squeeze. To try to join that as well as I can. And I'm going to have to squeeze that one more time because I can tell it's not completely sealed. It's close, but not quite. It's all set up. What do we got? And if you can't get the paper around, which I'm having a difficult time with, just use the jacks. Just to seal the deal. And that feels a little better. You see how it's a little more connected. Viola. Once you've got it pretty set up, then you can get that neck cut. I feel like it's very difficult to do all that with the neck in the piece because you're pushing it up towards the rod so much. What do I need? Done. I'm just going to give it a little nudge. Shoehead, will you start up a little stem? Yeah. Uh, please.
por favor. What's that? Yeah, a little bigger is better than a little smaller, just for stability. Thank you. So I see that Shuhei wrangled up a box for me to stand on. And that'll help. I see it, yeah, I'll stand on that. That'll help for aiming for the middle. I just put it right where I would stand at the bench, Alan, but flat waves. Thank you. What's that? What is Ross doing? Oh, hose, a hose job? This is, no, because I'm going to take it right, right here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like where I would sit at the bench, stand at the bench. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You come out first. It's fine. Never use the word holy sheep shit. There's so many tripping hazards. Jiminy, Jesus. All right. I don't see my circle anymore, but I'm going to go for it. Thank you. Very nice. Thanks, Alan. I like that I put my hose in like I was going to need that. <laughs> I was ready to blow. I am not qualified to uh, use a hose. Paddle on that, please. Nice and easy. We'll do that one more time when we get a little heat on the subject. A little heat. Marking the middle is a nice thing. I'm going to touch it with this real quick. Give me one sec. To lengthen it this way because I can't get the jacks in there. Now let's try again. And oh. Cool, may I have a foot and I'll monkey with this? I need a I need to puff this and shape it. Just a smidge. Sorry. Please. So before we go to the next step, which is the foot, I have two ways starting it, but I'm just gonna try to clean up this connection while I have the chance, because once the foot's on there, I won't have that opportunity. Feels no better. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. I don't think my shoulder's ready, but my brain is ready. Thank you. Sort of scooching it this way or that as needed. And then I'll take a heat to melt those chill marks and give it the old squeeze with the newspaper.
That'll widen it as well as thin it, which will give it some stability. Make it look a little better. I mean, basically, Stephen, this is a footing tool right here. It's just not wood, it's newspaper. He can sleep. He can sleep. <laughs> Hello. And push a little. What the fuck? Yes, he's squeezing it. Makes it look pretty nice. It's the rebranding of the cookie foot. Looks legit. May I have a step down, please? Thank you. So I want my bottom to cool down, but my top not to be cold. So while I wait for this stick, I've just got to sort of do my best to equalize the situation. And, uh, flashing and using the torch up at the top. Maybe the Sophie at the bottom. There's a fine how do you do? You good? Ready? Yes. You feel okay? Uh, I'll okay, I'll wait a sec. Two points. Yeah? Sophie, thank you. Grazie. Sure, I would love a paddle to be part of this affair. So I'm going to start opening with the jacks, and then I'll use the wood jacks to sort of round out the bottom. For a sec. She's come on down. All right, we're gonna just pretend that didn't undo. What problem? <laughs> That's wild. I swear it was attached, but it's not. And I'll pop the other jacks in there and see if we can't widen this out. Paddle, please. Will you actually push on the ring from the top? Right here? Yep, the other top. Right yep, here. exactly. 
And stop for a sec. Let's do that one more time. That was good. Ooh, sneaking Sally through the alley. Jiminy crickets. Whoop. And paddle, please. In many places, like the ring and the lip. Thank you. Stop. Will you hit the ring one more time right now, just real light? I'm going to push against you, straighten her up. Stop, thank you. Wait a minute, one more time? One more time. Shui, will you please just give me a little door? Yeah. I can't. Oh, yeah. Gracias. We'll do that one more time for the folks at home. The copper is soft, but the cobalt is softer, is all I gotta say. And yep, paddle please. Right here. Yes. Hop back on that ring. And then ease right off. I think that looks great. We shall stop. action. Sneaking sadly through the alley. Ooh. Yeah, those blues, man, they're soft. You know? But this was a little calmer than the cobalt with the copper. Gracias. It was it was okay, thank you. It was okay. We'll do one more like cocktail glass, but use the uh, jacks. this for a sec? Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. Anything for you, Bob. Within reason. Within reason? <laughs> Anything within reason. Thank you. What do we got? All right, let's go get some copper blue. We're very lucky to have pots of color. I'm gonna take a minute to reflect on that. Very awesome. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. <laughs> there we go. with all these hoses, this is why we need to wear clothing. So we can jam it into ugh, things we wear. Because <laughs> otherwise, pockets. pockets. Well, I can just stick things in places. The 
Yes! Let the force be with you! Or as they say, let the Schwartz be with you. <laughs> okay, dentist. <laughs> uh, hi, Ziggy, if you're watching. All the cats out there in the internet. I'm gonna let this cool. You can see actually, do you see that cord? Can you see that striation of glass? As we're getting lower in the, in the glass and cords are forming, it's interesting. There's some science going on. You don't have to pay. No, it's free decoration, no extra charge. That is right. Snoopy can sell it through the alley. Thank you. So we'll do this shape with a little wider base rather than a cylinder bottom, rather than it being the same diameter down the whole wall. Have the foot be slightly wider so it indents in the middle or narrows in the middle. Now that block is too big. This will be perfect. Just paper it up and then I'll take a nice juicy heat and attempt to attach my hose. This, the ring won't go on until we've stuck it up onto the punty. Good place for a stick up. What do we have going on here? Okay. Just getting some nice heat on the subject, cooling my tip, and I'll blow out the shoulder before we cut the neck. Keeping some thickness at the bottom. There's my structure or my structural integrity for the foot, which we all know is important. Once you've lost your thickness, it's doomsday. squeeze that neck right in and then angle to the right to create that nice valley between the pipe and the shoulder. And the piece will generally come off nicely if you have that space set up. And get a little length on the subject. And I might use that newspaper to give it a gentle squeeze in the middle. I might not. It's a 50-50. I'm just admiring that nice big cord. See it? I'm just gonna pretend that's not there. And persist. I would love that paddle next time, please. That's wild, do you see it? I see it. I feel it, I feel it like pulling every direction. We're not every direction, in two directions. Saying every direction is dramatic. Drama. Paddle, please. Push just a tiny bit. And stop. Let's stick it up. No, I think that'll be nice. Gracias. Doesn't need to be too wide. 
double decker, double wide. So I'm really going to have my work cut out for me because the wall is thin and has some business going on here. This stripe of texture from the cord is going to want to pull a little bit. So I might have to take shorter light heats rather than juicy big heats just to try to have some semblance of control. And if it doesn't work, I'll have to throw myself on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Ross? <laughs> Why, because your legs are like six feet long? <laughs> I know what Ross wants. Yes. It is juicy. Wicked. Not always. You feel good in your juicy state? Good. Fine? Fine. Fine. See if I care. Fine. Snakey looking to the alley. All right, this thing is coming off. Where'd I tell? I'll be right over. I'm gonna double down my spectacles. Jesus. Thanks. That, that pipe. I told you. You think I was just talking about nothing? We'll just have to take it slow to have it not go nuts. One step at a time. Yeah. One step beyond. I'm actually going to take a second heat to trim it. Please hold. Keep a little something up top. All right. I would love a paddle and then we'll torch the uh, shoulder. Please and thank you. What's that? Um, probably not. I'm just going to take this heat to straighten things. And nice and light. Awesome sauce. And stop. So using the torch to sort of dictate where the push is going to happen does really help quite a bit in a specific place. I like to almost use my tips as a guide as to where I want you to start to heat. Will you heat right where I'm pointing? And stop, I'll reheat and we'll do that one more time. Uno tiempo más. And I'm pushing pretty slow, kind of like a clutch, gradually increasing my pressure and the diameter of my blades. And hit it. Stay right on it. Thank you. And viola. And now that the ring is in, we can open this puppy up. 
Though I might have to give it one more squeeze for mankind. Just to make sure the deal is sealed. I'll do that before I take that heat. I feel like it's pretty darn close or tight. Sort of pressing both blades at each other to draw the ring into one narrow line. That looks very nice. And then I'll just heat that top section and open it like business as usual. With a paddle from you, please. What's that shoe height? Do it one more time. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna hit it again. I've got like texture land from the. Uh... Yeah. I'll see if I can't address that. One well, more pass. Totally gonna break all rules by doing this. Hang on one sec. And paddle, please. That looks better, doesn't it? Yep. And stop, thank you. So considering what I had to contend with, that's not the worst thing. Cords are a real pull, and they do very much striate the effort and angle in which the glass starts to pull. Makes it very difficult if you're working thin. Thanks. Alan, you're the best. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> uh, here we go, the struggle is real. Thanks, Shuhei. Um, awesome. So rings are cool, right? Dig it, thank you. I think that's it, thanks so much.